Hello people, I'm Chiggs and today I bring you my quick review of the 2020 Apple iPad Pro 11 inch model. So after using this iPad for just over a week, I want to share with you my thoughts. So first of all, inside the box, you will find your Apple paperwork and no Apple stickers included, a USB type C to type C cable and an 18 watt fast charger. And here is the iPad itself and I have to tell you guys I was quite excited when I first got this as I have not upgraded my iPad since owning the iPad Air first gen which I bought 10 years ago in 2010. So it took me 10 years before I decided to upgrade my iPad and the main reason is I personally did not see an iPad worth upgrading to till now. Now I finally took the plunge and I bought this iPad Pro 11 inch 128 gig model because of the new cameras features and the performance it offers. Now as usual the iPad is made from a complete metal body, it's incredibly thin at only 5.9 millimeters, and it weighs only 471 grams. Now you do have bezels but they are quite thin and the overall design is looking quite fresh especially with the new camera module and uh, especially if I compare it to what I used to have. So we have an 11 inch fully laminated liquid retina display with 264 pixels per inch along with a screen resolution of 2388 by 1668. Now the screen is very bright at 600 nits with some great colors and contrast. Watching videos and movies on this looks absolutely amazing but due to the aspect ratio of this iPad the videos don't actually play completely full screen and you get some black bars to go with it. Now you can stream a maximum of 1080p HDR on YouTube and this also supports Netflix HD with Dolby Vision. Now let's talk about the power and performance. This iPad is powered by the A12Z Bionic chip supported by Apple's new 8 core graphics. So it's giving us a boost for gaming and 4K video rendering. Now we also have 6 gigs of RAM and I went for the 128 gig model which is more than sufficient for my needs as I will be using this iPad casually for games, surfing the web and some light video editing. Now at the bottom of the iPad you'll find two speakers and a USB Type-C port. And on the side we have volume rocker and a small area where you can dock and charge the Apple Pencil. Now at the top of the iPad we have two more speakers and three microphones in the center. And on the other side you will find another single microphone. So we just counted four speakers, two at the top, two at the bottom, four microphones and you'll find the fifth microphone on the camera module. So this iPad Pro is all about studio quality sound recording and that is another reason why I picked this iPad up. So let's do a quick sound volume test. So the sound quality is actually better than I expected. Music is nice and loud and clear with no distortion even at max and the overall sound is pretty crisp and balanced. Now moving on to the cameras, this is the biggest upgrade in the new 2020 model and also another reason I picked this model up. We have dual camera setup on the back with a 12 megapixel wide, 10 megapixel ultra wide and a brand new LiDAR depth sensor. Now the camera features 2 times optical zoom and you can shoot 4K at 60 frames per second from both rear cameras with optical image stabilization. And on the front we have a 7.2 megapixel selfie camera which is capable of shooting 1080p at 60 frames per second. So here is a quick look at the camera app. So at the bottom we have pano, square, portrait and portrait mode only works with the front facing camera. You cannot do portrait mode with the rear cameras. Then you've got photo, video, slow motion and time lapse. And here are a few sample shots for you guys to check out.
And here is a short video clip demonstrating 4K at 60 frames per second. And the video quality does appear to be quite impressive. If you want to see a full camera test, then let me know in the comments below. I am in video mode trying to change the resolution. In the new iPhone 11 range, you can change the resolution by simply tapping on the resolution and it will change. Unfortunately, this useful feature has not been implemented on the iPad OS yet. And I really do hope that they activate this feature in a future firmware upgrade. Furthermore, you have built in dual band Wi Fi AC with Wi Fi MIMO, Bluetooth version 5, built in GPS, and this is running iPad OS version 13.4. Now, the OS looks better than ever, and the performance boost is certainly noticeable when compared to my old iPad Air. But if we compare this to the previous iPad Pro 2018 model, then it's equally as fast with not a great leap in performance. So if you already own the 2018 model, then you might not want to upgrade to this one, especially if you're expecting a big difference in performance. Now this new iPad Pro has been designed for multimedia and gaming. You have four speakers and five microphones, liquid retina display, lots of fun in games, but you can also get serious and get some studio recording and video editing going on. Now this 11 inch model has a 28.65 watt hour battery, which aims to provide around 10 hours of usage. And I'm pleased to say that this does come with an 18 watt fast charger included in the box at no extra costs. Now let's quickly check out the benchmark results, beginning with Geekbench multi-score of 4685. And in the Antutu benchmark test, we achieved 709,000. Now a few of you guys were asking me about the RAM and I can confirm that this 11 inch model also comes with six gigs of RAM, just like the 12.9 inch model, which is definitely a good thing. So there you have it guys, that was the 2020 iPad Pro 11 inch model. There is no doubt that this is a very well designed tablet. Definitely the best iPad I have ever used, especially as I am upgrading from a much older model. Now all the features have blown me away. The new LiDAR sensor is very powerful, but I hope to see more development on the software side to really take advantage of its true potential. Now, there is no headphone jack, but the USB-C headphones work absolutely fine. You can also use your favorite Bluetooth earbuds or headphones. Now, I especially appreciate the five high quality studio microphones, which means that I don't have to attach a microphone and effectively no longer need that headphone jack. So good job, Apple. Now, this iPad will allow you to game, watch videos, surf the web and get some work done and even edit 4K videos. So bottom line, the new 2020 iPad 11 Pro is a great product, but if you already own the 2018 model, I don't really think it's worth an upgrade unless you really want that camera boost and the LiDAR sensor and of course the microphones and speaker setup. Now I'm actually glad I waited and bought this one. Technically the way I use things, this could quite possibly last me for the next five years or even 10 years. And hopefully by then we will see something truly spectacular from Apple. But until then, this is my new travel work baby. And I do want to try and use this as my main computer to see if it's a possible replacement for my MacBook Pro. I highly doubt it, but I am going to try and see what happens. I'm going to edit more videos on this, do some graphic design and stuff. And I'll definitely share my thoughts with you in a future video. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.